Let's talk about the top five accessories you can put on your AR-15 handguard. Hello and welcome to the Stinger Workshop. My name is Rick Barrett and I'm your host for these series of videos where we talk about everything in the gun community from gun accessories to gun maintenance. And in this video, we are talking about gun accessories. In particular, in my opinion, the top five accessories you can put on your AR-15 handguard. Just a quick FYI, all the accessories that we're gonna be showing here, whether it's rail covers, flashlights, bipods, the whole thing, they're gonna be available for each individual system, whether it's Picatinny rail, the M-Lock system, or the key mod system. Let's start with the most popular, and you could say the most practical accessory for your AR-15 handguard, and that is the flashlight. A flashlight is one of the simplest items you can put on your AR-15, and the majority of the versions out there are pretty simple to use. All you have to do is mount it, press the on switch, and you're good to go. The obvious reason that you want a flashlight on your AR-15 is it gives you the ability to add light if you're in a low light situation. This could be in any number of scenarios ranging from self-defense to hunting. Probably the biggest advantage of mounting a light onto your AR-15 handguard is it allows your weak hand to maintain a proper firing grip. As you can see, I have a proper grip on this AR-15 handguard, but I also have the ability to hit this pressure switch here and that allows me to have this light on while keeping my hand on the firearm. Having the switch so close to my thumb also gives me the ability to control how much light I wanna have on the firearm or whether I wanna keep it on at all times. Also with the flashlight, it gives you the ability to mount it wherever you want. You can mount it at the three o'clock position, the six o'clock position, or the nine o'clock position, depending on which hand is your strong hand. Just like everything else in the AR-15 aftermarket space, there are tons of different lights to choose from. They have different lumen strength, which means how bright they actually are. They have ones with lasers. They have ones with different pressure switches. You're gonna have to try out a multitude of lights to see which one works for you. Let's move on to the next most popular accessory people put on their AR-15s, and that is foregrips. Now we'll talk about different styles because they are available on the Picatinny rail, on the key mod, and on the M-Lock. Here's an example of an angled foregrip that you would find on a Picatinny rail. And here is an example of a foregrip on an M-Lock handguard. But first, let's start with the Picatinny rail. Its only function is to give you a place where you can put your hand while firing. This will give you more control over where the gun goes and it helps your hand from being fatigued because it's a more natural firing position. Now, of course, you're saying, well, that's the only function of a foregrip is to give you a place to actually grip. I'm gonna show you when we talk about the M-Lock handguard, why just having a place to put your hand is kind of limiting when you're looking at foregrips. But still, it does its job, it's a very good foregrip, and if you're running a Picatinny rail, it's a great option. Moving on to the M-Lock handguard, here it is right here. As you can see, it's not as pronounced as the Picatinny rail version, probably because it's not as thick, but this ergonomic handguard, which you can get at Stinger USA, gives you more firing options. Now let me break that down. Yes, it does give you a place to put your hand if you wanted to use it as a grip in that popular shooting position. Also, depending on how you shoot, it can serve multiple functions. You can use it as a pull leverage point or as a push leverage point while firing. No matter which one you run, whether it's the angled foregrip on a Picatinny rail or an ergonomic hand grip on an M-Lock handguard, you're gonna be able to have more control over your firearm. And that's the reason why it's the second most popular accessory people put on their AR-15. When you're running a long gun of any kind, whether it's a shotgun, a rifle, or an AR-15, you're gonna use what they call a sling. And essentially, it's just a long rope that goes around your body and it keeps the weapon close to you. Now, there are a variety of ways to do this. And one of the more popular options is the quick detach system or QD system. The way the system works is the first thing you do is you go get a QD mount. You can get this one from stingerusa.com. Then you would get what they call a quick disconnect or QD swivel. It's a Magpul accessory. There's gonna be a button on the front of it this is how you engage and disengage the mount. So once you thread your sling through this swivel, what you do is you would press that button and engage in the actual mount like so. One of the great things about this system is because it is not latched on permanently like some others, it gives you the freedom to move depending on what you're actually doing. Of course, when you wanna take your sling off for a variety of reasons, 
You get the sling, you press the button, and you remove like so. You're going to have to use a sling on your long gun, your AR-15, your shotgun, your bolt action rifle. So you might as well use the easiest, and that is the QD mount system. Another popular accessory people like to put on their AR-15 handguards are bipods. Bipods are great because they excel at long range target shooting, and they can also be frequently used for tactical purposes as well when you're out in the field, adding stability to places where you might not traditionally find it. Another advantage that bipods have is they're excellent for fine tuning scopes, zeroing rifles, and eliminating as much of your human element as possible. And another advantage to bipods is that when you're done using them, they flip up and they're out of the way, like so. Let's continue our discussion of accessories for your AR-15 handguard, now talking about rail cover panels. Rail cover panels are available for the Picatinny, the Keymod, and the M-Lock systems. In this case, we're going to be discussing the M-Lock rail covers that you can find at StingerUSA.com. That would be these bad boys right here. Here are some of the key reasons why people love these M-Lock rail covers. The first one is superior heat protection. Let's look at these from StingerUSA.com. These are constructed from a heat resistant polymer and that gives you added heat protection on your firearm. Another reason why people like these M-Lock rail covers is it provides an additional aesthetic to their handguard or a different way to customize their handguard. Some people don't like empty space on their handguards so this fills that space while maintaining a low profile. And the big reason people really love these M-Lock hand covers is that it gives you an additional point of contact for your hand while you're firing. These points of contact right here allow you to have better control over your firearm. As a bonus, if you pick up these M-Lock rail covers from StingerUSA.com, you're gonna be picking up rail covers that were designed and made in the USA. So we've discussed the top five accessories to put on your AR-15 handguard. Now let's look at five unique AR-15 accessories. Now we are in no way saying these are bad accessories, but we wanna take the time to at least acknowledge that they exist and thank those who made them for thinking outside of the box. That being said, they are outside of the box and maybe don't fit your specific needs. The first of these five unique AR-15 accessories is the Bayonext. Now the Bayonext is a large tube without the front mounting system. Now the majority of your rail area is taken up with this 14 inch tube which delivers a spring loaded spike for handling near calls. Now the Bayonex fastens to a rail and must be taken apart with what looks like an allen key. Maybe this fits your needs, maybe it doesn't. Then next up on our unique list is the F4 Tactical Rail Mount Pepper Spray System. Now the F4 Tactical Pepper Spray mounts below the barrel, the AR-15, and attaches to the rail system. The big issue that I find, but this may not be a big deal for you, is it requires you to point a deadly weapon at your opponent while being also uncomfortably near them. There is a potential issue with mixing different levels of lethality. Coming in third on our list of unique AR-15 handguard accessories is the Angel Eye Rear View Mirror. Now I get the concept of the rear view mirror. It gives you the ability to see behind you to see if any bad guys are sneaking up on you. However, it costs about $100 and it's not really that big, but as previously stated, it may work for you. Next up, we have the AR-15 Magazine Foregrip. Now, the AR-15 Magazine Foregrip works about how it sounds. It's a magazine that puts into your foregrip. On the surface, this seems like an advantage because it conserves space and allows you quick access to your magazine. On the other hand, now you're putting two different things in the same bucket. Your foregrip should be controlling the gun not as a storage space. And secondly, is it really that much faster to have the magazine in the foregrip as opposed to traditional places? And finally, it may put your gun out of balance. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. And our final entry into our unique list of AR-15 handguard accessories is the grip shot. The grip shot allows certain holsters to be put on your Picatinny rail. The natural advantage it would seem to this accessory is it will give you a faster method to accessing your handgun than drawing from your belt. The question is, does it? Now I give them credit for thinking outside of the box and giving you a different place to actually store your handgun. In my humble opinion, there are a couple problems that stick out. The first is that it could potentially increase the weight of your rifle, it could throw its balance off, and double the rifle's profile. But 
if you can get over these things and you think it works, you should try it. And that's it for this video talking about the top five accessories to put on your AR-15 and five that are unique. Let me know in the comments below what you put on yours. Coming to you from the Stinger Workshop, I'm Rick Barrett. I hope you enjoy this video and I'll talk to you again soon.